Hello, in this video I want to talk through the process of creating a project for your students that will be collaborative, but there's two important components. One is setting up the project, but the other that's just as important is that students get into your project properly and they don't just start a new project from a blank edit because then they won't be able to join your project correctly and do the collaboration that you're looking for. So I'll talk about that in the second half of the video. I'll start with the teacher end, and then I'll jump into the student end, but both things are very important. So to get started, you would go to projects, you would create a new project, you would title it, and then we are creating a collaborative project here. Notice the difference between the different project types, personal, each student's doing their own, collaborative, is that everybody can create and view content from everybody else in the class. And then a shared project would be if you have some shared media that you want everybody in the class to use, but you want every individual student to create their own project, that's a shared project. So for this one, I want students to be able to collaborate. Next. And then if you have a class already set up in WeVideo, you can use this, but probably the easiest is to just invite with link. And then as soon as they click the link, they would be invited to join this project. If you have media that you will be adding, go ahead and do that. But if you do not, just press next. And then this is a link you would give students. Go ahead and press finish. And that's really all you need. If you need the project URL later, say that we're in our main dashboard, you need to get that URL again. You would go to your projects. You would find that sample project, double click into it. And then down here is the project URL. If any students in your class are having trouble getting in, you can add them manually just right there, add members, and then you could select the students individually. Now I'm gonna jump into the student end. Students would first log in, and when they log in, it's tempting to just press create a new edit. Many of them do that, and then they aren't actually creating in your project with those collaborative features. So they really need to go to that project link that you had given them, and from there, they will start a project. Then they can choose to start from scratch or choose one of the templates that's available. So if they go ahead and start a new blank edit, start, that's usually how I get them started, then allow them to choose from all the media within WeVideo right here. If they wanna do a newscast with green screen, for example, just have them search out the stock media, and they can pull that in just like so and get started. I find that the easiest way to get students started. New blank edit and then choose some stock media, set up the scene and get going. And so pretend for a moment that I've finished this project, I would just press finish. I'll just leave that. And then let me jump you back to my teacher dashboard. Now I can see that I have two members in my class myself and that student one. And then if I click on edits, I can see that video that that student is working on. Now it is locked at this point because the student is in there. And that is something that is very important to understand about a collaborative project. Students can never be in the same exact project at the same time. They can be working on different edits. So if I go back to the student view, if I go back to this project, only one kid at a time can be in here. But one student can be working on this, and then another student can go in, I'm just gonna do both within this one, do a new video edit, another blank edit, go ahead and pull in this one. Okay, that's gonna be my video for now. Now let me go back, and remember this is collaborative, so everybody in the class can see each other's edits. Then all they would do is they would click on each of the videos they want to merge together. You can just press the shift key and select multiple videos, and then right click, combine edits, and then that's how you pull together each piece that each student has worked on. They also can work if they're working at home, if they're working at different times, they could be in that same project, but they can't be in the same project at the same time. It works a lot like a wiki. Combine edits here, and then I have them together. Going back to my teacher dashboard, now I can see each of those videos separately and I can also see the two combined edits and I can get into everything from the teacher dashboard because students started this within the project. So that's a very important piece. All right, I hope this is clear and helpful and that's it for this video. Bye.